Right, welcome back. Last time we went ahead and started colonizing. Very well. Maybe not started, but definitely got some of the first results. They've started to build up in these nearby ports, as well as... Yeah, I'm planning on building up in the trading post provinces that have harbors and whatnot. In order to advance myself further. Yeah, it does seem that Portugal's taking the time to actually expand their themselves, or it could just be the... Yeah, that's actual Portugal. Okay. Yeah, Portugal's taking the time to expand their colony down here. Hmm. And Castillo's down here as well. Isn't that just great? Yeah, I need to take the time to get as many trading post provinces as possible for all the Europeans snatched them up. Or at least the ones that I actually want to have for myself. I've also been working on advancing my own technology and expanding my horizons on where I can see. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. In case anyone hasn't noticed yet, yes, Portugal's Protestant. I know, that's as crazy as it sounds, but it's true. So Portugal's now a rival. Is it because they've gotten closer now? I don't assume so. I don't think they actually directly own anything that close by outside of this colony, which will... Well... Eventually get handed over to their other colony. Yeah, closest province to me is this one, which will be handed over. The one, then there's the one in Zanzibar, which is on the other side of the continent. One way. And then there's the rest of Portugal, which is on the other side of the continent, another way. In fact, even more so. Apparently they want Goa pretty bad. Permanent claim. Yep. You just need to wait for an opportunity. Production rights. By giving rural producers limited rights and guild representation and expanding the rights of urban producers, they will be able to share and improve production methods. Plus 10% to urban production power, urban production skill, and rural goods produced. So, more stuff. And though almost certainly not enough to upgrade anything. It only goes a good way. Well, it might actually be enough to end up upgrading the bonus for. jewelry. Yep. Should now be abundant. Is it yet? Yes. Okay. So I'm now getting, well, an extra 5% tax modifier, or an extra point one TLG to I guess? I don't know. Could be 0.15. I'm not really sure. But more importantly, plus 0.05 to yearly inflation reduction. Which means I'm getting a good bit less inflation now. Yeah, it's reducing hard. In fact, it should actually end up hitting zero now. And I can go ahead and get my last reform. Out of all of these, monarchy would probably be the best. It lets me maintain the current system and whatnot. Now I need to pick a initial reform. 
Probably not elective monarchy. I don't like that maximum centralization difference. Competitive inheritance gives me too much little corruption, so I'll just take divine right. It reduces land maintenance. It gives me a little extra money from the long ago. And although it reduces the chance of a new heir, I already get plus 100% from... Well... Animists. I could get a wooden wall. Press Merchant Navy. Wooden wall. Why not? I made sure I currently only have... I guess... Three coastlines? I'm not sure if this one counts as... This coastline or not. The province border happens to be very, very... Very on the... C borderline, but okay. Oh. Huh. Salt mine. Nice. It isn't worth a huge amount, but it still is better than nothing. Anyway, Smithian economics. By adopting new techniques and economic matters, we shall support a vibrant market that will increase our overall production efficiency. Plus 20% to production efficiency. Additionally, as a bonus, I get plus 0.02 yearly inflation reduction. Which will help reduce issues? Well, help continue to help reducing it. Honestly, the buff from jewelry is big enough that I'll probably end up just having zero inflation. So it will become a non-issue. Which is great. Yeah, I wonder how this is doing. Ooh, important center of trade. Yep, that upgraded trade harbor was definitely not trade harbor, but max level trade building was definitely worth it. It's made the second rank trade center. Wait, how's Renaissance doing? I wasn't expecting it to be this high. This is certainly going faster than I anticipated. Perhaps someone that is still trading here? Nope, just Art Center. Well then. Okay, at least once I embrace it, I won't have to deal with its penalty. I will have to deal with casual literacy's penalty, which is exactly the same at 25%. Joy. Schoolized trade will be only 20%. Alright, I think it's a good point. Stop it here. I ended up finally managed to scrape the gas of the money to build a customs house. And also, built the first road outside of my capital. So this province is going to have a little bit less autonomy issues. I've also managed to reform out of a tribal nation into a monarchy with divine right. I'm not sure what I'm going to get. None of these seem particularly great. I honestly don't like any of these. Over in court, lower centralization. Delegated rulers lower increases autonomy. Bureaucracy, I don't have. I probably will never have. It raises, it makes it more difficult for me to get stability. Yeah. 
Oh, it's there. I can just get a point of alert. Woohoo! Minus point one autonomy. That's ten percent autonomy. Yeah. I've also gone ahead and completed economic ideas, which has a side effect in order to buffing my jewelry. Oh, I'm also importing timber. Huh. I can look at this later. Um, yeah. Colonization continues. Slowly but surely. As well as the expansion of the port cities. And most of them are now controlled by the burghers. Which is giving them some extra influence. At least for the moment. Travels continue to lose influence though. Which is all part of the plan. Especially as now, since I'm a monarchy, the troubles will integrate even faster into the settlements. In fact, by now, they're already gone from my capital. As well as for some reason from here and here, although I don't practically know why. They are over here, though. Yeah. And I don't see particularly too much change. Although I do know that Spain is colonizing... Oh, not Spain particularly, but Castile is colonizing Colombia. They've already formed the nation of New Granada. Yeah, this is a mess. Especially considering, you know, Portugal Protestant. <laughs> That's just weird. Yeah. Anyway. I'll see you again next time. Until then. Bye.